400 years ago, God delivered us to this promised land. But as the years passed, many of our tribes forgot and turned their backs to God. When the Philistines came, they found us weak, divided, and they enslaved our people. Our only hope was a prophecy that a man would be born, one who would rise up and set our people free. ears that cannot hear. Oh, that riddle's almost as bad as that, brother. <laughs> Move along. What is flesh but no blood, and a heart made of stone? You're talking about the olives. Oh, Father. <laughs> hey, Hebrew! What are you doing back there? I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm waiting for my master. He prays in the temple. What's happening? And why do you hide your face? Remove your hood. Hey, brother. Hebrew, show yourself. Samson, what's happening there? I know him. That's Samson. The Hebrew strong one from the pit. Be very careful. You're coming with us. We'll find your master. See if you're telling the truth. Of course. Why would I resist? Ah! <laughs> Hard as to catch. The faster I run, what am I? Too easy. Your breath. The eyes of Dagon see you, filthy Hebrews. You shall not escape his wrath. He will crush you and all who defy him. This way. Don't let them escape. Morning, 
Paris. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have here? Uh, I'll be right back. You should only take a moment. Come on! Come back here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What happened to you? Let's never speak of this. <laughs> Stop! Mercy, my lord. And what form should my mercy take? The tribute. It is too much, my lord. We starve while our wheat grows mold in your barns. Can you not spare us a little more, my lord? What is your name, Hebrew? My name is Tobias, my lord. Tobias. I, Prince Rolah, have heard this man's cry. And as commander of the Philistine army, I declare henceforth, this man shall never hunger again. <laughs> Does anyone else desire mercy? Back to work? Back to work! <laughs> I mean, you wish, little brother. <laughs> Another man died today. Tobias was killed by the Philistine commander. You were called by God, gifted with his power to deliver his people. The council think it's his time for a judge to be anointed. We do not need a judge. We need peace. Remember the prophecy. Samson of the tribe of Dan, chosen by the living God to be his hand of vengeance. It's his will, but it is not mine. Son, you are not like other Hebrews. You're meant for so much more. You were meant- But you never fail to remind me of this. Everything God has required of me, I have done. I kept every vow. No wine, no touching the dead, no cutting of my hair. And where has it gotten me? Where has it gotten us? Are we free from war? Do we have peace? Why does God withhold what we desire? Samson, you must not forget who you are. The silos are half full after the tribute today. Tomorrow, we will fill the remainder from Ekron. At all. <laughs> there are whispers of a Hebrew with great strength 
His people believe him to be a savior, but it is a story for slaves, nothing more. Stories. Stories are possibilities. And possibilities are hope, and hope. Hope is rebellion. I want you to investigate this. Should I not be doing something more than keeping watch over slaves? You think this is beneath you? But father... The matters of the crown do not call me father. I'm your king. Do as I say. Yes, my king. Now. Don't even think about it. What's happening? Samson. The Philistines have a new fighter. Spoken from Egypt. He can't be beaten. He mocks our people and he mocks our God. But you can show him. Samson's not interested. Our father's given us. Pathetic! I fought men from every land. These Hebrews and their puny God are like fighting children! Send two against me! Lord <laughs> guarantees many returns! Support your Hebrew fighters! I command, command! You won't regret it. Let the fighting begin! Brother, think. Why would they bring this monster if not to draw you out? If something's not right here. I'm just gonna take a look. What's the harm in that? The last time you said that, I cracked two of my teeth. Father, the fight's time my stomach. Can I please be excused? There are many fine nobles here with deep pockets. Mingle with them hmm? and try to smile. is not weak, and neither are his people. Ooh, the Hebrew champion. A bag of silver for the victor. Only one. Do you have such little faith in your God? All right, two bags of silver then. Samson, father, will be furious. Brother, are you listening? Ten to one! Years and I will be. Where is your Hebrew champion now, huh? Dagon has proven his power, and I have proven mine. Samson, and I serve the living God. And you have proven nothing. Yield 
the silver is yours. Just, just put the rock down. Father, look what Samson did. I heard. You can take it to the council. But you want these for us. Would you feast if the rest of us were starving? Your brother's becoming arrogant. He's doing what he sees as right. He only sees what's right in front of him. That's all. Oh! Oh! For the prince! Well, if it is not the greatest fighter riches can buy. <laughs> Lord, you hired us to draw him out. We never promised victory. Right. Right you are. <laughs> you there. Your master has cost me quite a lot today. My lord. Hold your tongue or I shall have it cut from your mouth. Does this bother you? The riches your master has cost me. I guess not. Very well. You will enter my service until your debt is paid. Well, <laughs> not all of you. <laughs> Rumor is true. I saw him lift a boulder the size of an ox without strain. The Hebrew God is in him. Within him. Yes. What is he, then? Is he a half-god? <laughs> if gods were mortal, he would be one. You forget whose kingdom you inhabit. Yes. Our god Dagon is mighty. Yes, he is. Would you kindly give us some privacy? Sit. This is not Dagon's kingdom. It is mine. You must see gods for what they are. They are symbols. They have no power. To the common man, they provide something bigger. To us, they are a means of control. I am Dagon. You can be Dagon if you stomp out this park before it becomes a blaze. Yes, my king. Huh? <laughs> You may return. He will serve the crown or he will die. I'm sure he will. I don't know I find you here. <laughs> this is the best view in all of Israel. You need to turn your eyes and mind towards things that matter, brother. I am appreciating God's creation. What could possibly be more important than that? Fulfilling your destiny? <laughs> Coming judge? No, there is no judge. You carry the anointing. Well, I'm not ready. <sighs> We're never ready. What are you smiling at? I found her. Oh, little brother, now this is good news. Her name is Taryn. She's in Gaza, and even worse, she's a servant of Rama. I must relieve her of that. No, you must not. Oh, I must. One more thing. What? You must not tell mother. <laughs>
Is everything all right? Forgive me. I just... Just what? You enjoy spying on people? No. Not at all. I just had to know who you were. After seeing you at the fight, my head was spinning. <laughs> Are you sure that was not because of his punch? <laughs> no. The only reason he landed that punch was because I was distracted by you. <laughs> they say that those who tangle with you leave wishing they had not. The prince. Oh, I must go. Wait. Do you know the cliffs by the beach, where the path from Gaza meets the sea? Yes. They're beautiful. Meet me there tomorrow, first light. Please? <laughs> How long must we wait for God to deliver us from this oppression? He has already revealed his chosen one. It is Samson. Samson does not want to be judge. It is better this way. He is unfit to lead. How can God choose a barbarian that chases after woman like it is his birthright? And may I add, I'm grateful he has eyes for the Philistine maidens and not our own. At least there is a slight chance my own sister would be safe from his advances. Your sister would not have a virtue if not for the protection given by my brother. Shall I have him remove it from you? From her? From all of you? to wonder if you would show. I used to play here as a child, walk along the water with my father. It's actually the only reason I chose to come. Oh, is that so? <laughs> yes, that is so. Do you consider me a liar? No, I'm not saying you would lie, but... I mean, is that the only reason? There is no other? Well, if you must know the entire truth. Then yes. Are you coming or not? <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you believe in destiny? That your life can be decided for you even before you're born? Yes, I do. Well, I do not. I refuse to be bound by slavery of any kind. What about me and my people? Are we not slaves to your people, the Philistines? We do not have the freedom that you speak of. Our lives are our own. Our destiny is what we make of it. You're only a slave if you let them make you one. If you think that your current situation is any different than mine, you're wrong. Tell me of your family. My mother was killed when I was only a child, and the prince has enslaved my father until his debt is paid. I'm sorry. Your people are not the only victims. All my life it's been said that I meant to lead my people to victory against the Philistines. Us? My brethren are beaten, starved, our livestock is stolen. This has gone on for years, Taran, with no end in sight. Samson, we are enslaved by the same people. Who do you want to be? Father. Husband. I believe you can be that man. Troubled? 
When the old man dies, should I declare a time of mourning for the passing of a king? Or a time of celebration for the coronation of a new one? Do you expect this tragedy soon? It does not matter. I will be rejoicing regardless. He thinks me unprepared for the crown and yet tasks me with the act of suppressing a slave rebellion. It is a fool's errand. I should be leading armies into Sidon, Median Egypt. These Hebrews are not worth the time of a future king. My father, he grows senile in his old age. He has led our kingdom into prosperity. Perhaps he deserves more honor. Perhaps your prince deserves more respect. You need more wine. If you wish to serve as my queen, you will learn to tame your tongue. Of course, my love. The throne will be ours soon. My Delilah. <laughs> Why can't we show everyone how Hebrews and Philistines can live in peace? For the first time in my life, someone asked who I want to be. You made me believe in a future I did not think I could have. Samson. This is our chance to be free. Taryn, marry me. Your parents will not approve of this. If you say yes, I will stop at nothing until they give me their blessing. And yes. <laughs> yes. Ow. <laughs> I met a girl. I want to marry her. Oh, uh, what's her name? Her name is Taryn. Uh, f from our village? No, she is from Timna. A Hebrew girl in Timna? Who's her father? His name is Ahar. He is a prisoner of the crown. You couldn't find a suitable bride in our own tribe. Instead, you choose a daughter of the enemy? You lost your mind? I'm not trying to shame you, father, or you, mother. You have no idea the brutality and the horrors they've brought on us. She is not like them. She is different. We are their slaves. If you marry her, you will bring shame and dishonor to this family. What do you want from me? Am I called to lead your people? Then show me a sign. You are my 
my savior and my strength. Forgive me, my lord. Forgive me. Stop singing. Pardon me, I did not see you. And what on earth is the cause of all this smiling and singing? Does love not sing sweetly? Take my advice. Do not trust the love of a Philistine. Well, my love is a Hebrew, unlike any other man. And his love comes with a proposal. Marriage? You are a servant girl to a Philistine king. Would it not be permitted? Our prince would never yield his servant to a Hebrew. But he is respected amongst his community, one of their leaders. And his name? Samson. Samson? The strong man is your betrothed. Yes, my lady, have you heard of him? I have. Perhaps I can help you. I will speak with Prince Roll on your behalf. He'd do that for me. Indeed. In the name of love. Thank you. I have received reports that the Hebrews are considering Samson as judge. The judge of a slave is still a slave. Let them do as they will. What would the king say? What my father thinks is of no concern to you. The Hebrew has eyes for you on your servant girl. Well, she is pleasing to the eye. They plan to marry. That would be heresy to Dagon. Wedding a Philistine to a Hebrew. You cannot allow this, my lord. But if you were to bless their union, they would be in your debt. How do you mean? Give the girl to the Hebrew, and he will never raise a hand against you. The throne would be yours. This is madness, my lord. He would be under my heel. Let Samson marry. We shall host the wedding feast. My queen is cunning. And my king strong. Ashdod, you may leave. Yes, my lord. Give me Samson, and the throne will be ours. Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, something sweet. At least dance with your bride to be once tonight. Or did you take a vow against all fun? You dance. I will watch. <laughs> Samson, my brother, you look sober. Here, have a drink. No, I do not drink. Mm. You do not drink? Only babies do not drink. Should we get him some milk? Maybe a wet nurse. Oh. I said no. No wine for me. It is not wine. Drink with us. It's your wedding. Drink. Just trying to have some fun. Impressive, Hebrew. We all know about your strength. Is there anything more to you? Anything? Between those ears? <laughs> I have more than you do. Perhaps uh, a riddle? Yes. Yes, a riddle? At night I come without being caught. By day, I am lost without being stolen. What am I? Do 
too difficult. A star. All right, my turn. I have a riddle that I am sure none of you can solve. Oh, 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 oh. You challenge 30 men to a riddle. Fine. Perhaps a wager. My people need clothes. Your tunics. All of them. <laughs> 30 Philistine tunics. Fine. But if you lose, you owe the same. And if you don't pay, it'll be your head or your wife's. Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, something sweet. Is that it? Is my slave wit too much for you? <laughs> you have until morning to answer. Keep this clean, will you? <laughs> Come on, let us dance. Music! <laughs> <laughs> Did you really think I'd just let you run off and wed without anything in return? Out of the eater, something to eat. Out of the strong, something sweet. What does this mean to you? I know not what you speak of, my lord. <laughs> you lie. I have watched you, you know. Seeing you talk to your father that behind the bars. It is quite a beautiful bond. You have really extraordinary... What are you saying? It would be a shame if you never see him again. The riddle? It confounds them all. <laughs> Rala boasted of his wit, so I gave him and his men something to think about. Let their small minds toil while we have fun. And the answer? You will know soon enough. What bothers you so? Tomorrow we'll be married. Husband and wife, there should be no secrets between us. No secrets. Right. No secrets. For what is sweeter than honey? And what is stronger than a lion? There. Does that solve these troubles? Ah, there he is. A groom, both rare, wit and strength. At the bottom of which barrel did you find my answer? You would be surprised. <laughs> Just try me. Mm. For what is sweeter than honey? And what is stronger than a lion? <laughs> How did you? Remind me again, what was our wager? <laughs> oh, yes. 30 tunics. I do not have them. Well, then I fear you lose more than your wager. <laughs> do not touch her! Fine. I will find your tunics. Please. It wasn't me. It wasn't me, Samson. is not for you, Hebrew. This well is for pure 
Philistine lips. Having fouled by the likes of you makes me sick. <laughs> I said, get your dirty hands off our water and move along! Give me your tunic. What did you say? Your tunic. Give it to me. Have you lost your mind, Hebrew? I could leave your corpse here for the crows and finish my drink without a second thought. Hey! you anymore. You're free. It's me, Samson. The God was with us today. Help me gather their tunics. Oh, wait. Please. I cannot touch the dead. I cannot break my vow. My debt is paid. Now, where is Taryn? Philistine tunic, sir. There is blood. Where is my wife? You have no wife. You did not return in time to finish the ceremony. Dagon law requires, once the wedding is begun, it must be completed. I had to stand in your place. If you even touched her. Uh now, since you've murdered my men and stolen their clothes, you will spend the rest of your very short life working in the mines. <laughs> <laughs> Arrest this man!
do you stand there? Draw your bows! There's no one there, sir. What? Then who starts the fires? The fire! It moves on its own! Wait, the prince. What is this? Samson! 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 Give me Samson, or your whole village burns. He's not here. I know you. Manoah, father of Samson. Take him. Are you sure? You want to bring all of Judah into a war against you. If Samson does not show, he will find himself without a father. And you will find yourselves without a village! Fuck. I know where he is. Go. Brother, please leave me. God's not done with you. For years I pleaded with God. I asked him if you're truly the one to deliver us all. For years I'd never hear anything. And then one night, I heard a still small voice. I looked around. I was certain someone had spoken words, but there was no one there. And then it happened again. A voice so clear, a voice with divine certainty that said, I would witness my brother free our people with the strength of his hands. I know that you will save us, brother. The only question is when. I have broken my vows. It is over. It's not over. Summon your strength, brother. They have father. They've come here to hand you over to the crown in exchange for peace. And if I surrender, or rather free father, surrender's not the solution, brother. Then what is? Make the men of Judah your army. They will fight for you, and so will we. Today's the day, Samson. Today the prophecy is fulfilled. You are Samson of the tribe of Dan, chosen by God Almighty and set apart. His hand of vengeance against the Philistines. You are right, brother. My hands will save our people. Look, brother. Stand and fight!
loyalty to the king is acknowledged, your village will be spared. Before your head hits the ground, your village will burn. And your father will be waiting for you. now be my strength be my strength
Samson, son of Manoah, chosen by God since birth to bring deliverance to your people. I anoint you. with my own eyes. Your eye deceives you. Did you see him bleed? Yes. Then he is not a god! Go tell the Hebrews that we will not retaliate if Samson swears to end his violence. Go get out of my sight, boy. You child! Dagon's wrath. I do not fear Dagon or oh, my father. You fear another. I have seen a real God in a real man. That is power. I will take Samson's power. And you're going to help me. Samson was at last anointed the judge and protector of our people. The king sent no army against us, but the theft of our food did not stop. Prince Rala was sent far to the west to lead campaigns into Egypt as punishment. But upon his return, years later, our tribes were once again beset with violence and pushed to the brink of starvation. For years I have said our only hope is in peace. Peace? Our share of the coming harvest can no longer feed us. For years we have listened to you. We have barely endured, yet nothing has changed. It's time for war. No, war only brings suffering to our people. I will leave to Gaza to negotiate peace. What you call peace? I call starvation. Our only hope is to rally the other tribes and prepare for an attack. God did not call you from the womb to be a politician, brother. He gave you the strength to fight like no man ever has. I will return with freedom, or I will not return at all.
This is an outrage. I determine what is outrage. I define what is at risk to my kingdom. He comes here to negotiate. He will leave in peace because it is my wish. Thus, my command, my decree, my authority. Do you not see where this argument is going? To the door. You returned. Mighty Samson, at last we meet. May I offer you some wine or some food, a jawbone of a donkey, perhaps? My son is around here somewhere, is he not? I'm here to negotiate for the people I serve, the same people you starve. In order to negotiate, one must have something to negotiate with, must he not? What do you have to offer my kingdom? Peace. True peace between our people. Reduce the tribute. Give back the harvest that is rightfully ours. Or else what? You will face the wrath of God. So you threaten me with natural phenomenon, freakish acts, and the weather. Mock me if you will. But you will not be laughing when you have another thousand soldiers to bury. I have rebuilt my army three times since, and the only reason that you draw breath is because I have not given the order to take it. I reject your offer. And you choose war. I think we both know that war is not in your best interest. Unless, of course, you choose to see more of your loved ones perish. This is my offer to you. Disappear. You disappear, and the harvest will be returned to your people. You asked me to leave my people. You have a choice, Samson. Stay and watch your people suffer and die. Or go away and have them flourish. Make haste out of the city. Tell my brother. Tell him I'll return when I change the king's heart. But you cannot linger here. These people even suspect who you are. Trust in God. He'll show us the way. Now go. Hurry. A Hebrew who sits in council with the king. You must be mistaken. My lord. Forgive my manners. I'm the proprietor of a nearby inn where important men like you can rest and pray. We're very discreet. We ask no questions. Come here, had you been honest about the sort of inn you run. I must speak with you. You're in the wrong room. Go back to your madam. Samson, please. I've come here to warn you. You're in grave danger. Wait. I know you. Yes. You were at my wedding feast. You were with Rala. Yes, I was. That was before I knew what he was capable of. I've since left his service. What are you doing here? I saw you on the street by chance. I saw you enter here. Samson, the city knows you're here. The people are hunting for you, even now, laying traps. Don't 
Did Rala put you up to this? I am not with Rala. I don't believe you. You're lying. Why would you help me? Will you be so cruel to make me lay my heart bare? I spoke no lie. I saw you in the street and I remember. Karen. What about Taryn? She was sweet and innocent and pure. And for that, the God smiled on her and gave her the gift of a good man. And I envied her, for I knew I would never be allowed such a gift. Broken as I am. He's awake. You're not one of my girls. Kill them both. Come. That's him. The Hebrew killer Samson. Avenge your brothers and your sons. Kill him. Kill him. In here. back to my people as a failure. I cannot stay here. The king advises me to vanish. God tells me nothing! I have a house in the Valley of Sorek. You'll be safe there while you wait for your God's answer. Make for the village of Belsham. I will meet you on the road. Stay hidden. They're not after you. you once more. With your strength, protect me.
strength of the living God. What are you doing? Nice to I'm just rest. You're awake. You have been asleep for two days. Your wounds were grave, but I did what I could. I thought you were someone else. Taryn. You said her name many times. You truly loved her. Why do you help me? Are you not a Philistine? I found you alone and in pain. I know what that feels like. And you would help someone without anything in return. It takes a woman full of true kindness to do such things, especially for a Hebrew. I must go. Please, stay until you are healed. I should not impose any further. It is no imposition. Let me prepare you some food. Please, stay. What is your name? Delilah. Delilah, I owe you my life. Thank you. I thought you were dead. I feel I should be mother. Come here, son. Sit down, sit down. I'll get some food. I have not protected those I love. God has protected us, Samson. I have broken my vows to God. I have killed. Drank of the vine. Has God forsaken me? I'll never forsake you. He will always forgive. I am beyond his forgiveness. Oh, son, listen. Within God's forgiveness is his power and your call. He's still with you, but you must pursue his desires, not your own. Listen to him. Please, pray for me. I always pray for my children. Did you? And you stand there and do nothing. When 
Samson killed a thousand. We gathered as many weapons as possible. The majority remain hidden in the woods. Well done, Caleb. We can't wait anymore. The sword has not seen a Hebrew hand for a generation. Then that is far too long, my friend. The king thinks we are weak. His defenses are down. We are weak. Not if I get Samson to agree. This is madness. And it will end in our slaughter. When did we stop believing in our God? This land was promised to us, and we shall fight for it. Either join us, or stay free of our cause. You leave again so soon after weeks away. Please don't tell me it's another Philistine. None of your concern, brother. Have you no regard left for your sacred vows? You just travel from one bed to another. What God's people suffer. You have no understanding of what it is you speak. This burden is far too great for your small shoulders to bear. Curb your judgment of me, brother, I warn you. Let me be. Let you be what, exactly? I tried. I did, but I failed. Many times over, and I am done with failing. God's not done with you. The men are finally ready to fight all we need from you, brothers, to lead us. I will not lead them. You or anyone to certain death. You came back? I had to see you again. Please, come in. I wonder if this is what peace feels like. Oh, peace was a dream I can no longer feel. Then tell me, what do you feel? Sorrow. Loss. I have known my share of the same. What if we were to leave all this behind? Begin again with no expectations. Where would you go? Goshen. Egypt. See the cities of Joseph. Cush, maybe, where they have creatures tall as trees. <laughs> but you would never leave your people. I would have to force you or bind you. <laughs> as if anything could ever bind you. What if there was something that could bind me? Tell me. And I will take you to all those places tomorrow. Well, this would please you. To bind me and make me like any other man. You can never be like any other man. Bound or not. And tie me up with fresh ropes, ones that have never been used, and I will be like any other man. And you can take me wherever you wish. What good has come from your time with Samson? His loyalty seems to be his only weakness. If it is a weakness. Do I need to remind you who this man is, Delilah? He is our enemy. He's not out to destroy us, Rolla. Only to protect those he holds dear. Let him be. Do you have feelings for him? He's silly. There was once a little sparrow who stared all day long through the bars of a cage, longing to take flight. When the chance arose, she left her shelter. But before she could reach the sky, a hawk descended upon her and tore her apart, piece by piece. Let us finish what we started. Are you certain that the Hebrews intend to attack the crown? Yes, my king. We swear on our lives. A group of men have been hiding weapons in my village. Well, this will be a significant attack, my king. We appreciate your protection and good graces. And you may continue to have it. <laughs> What 
What is wrong? Delilah? Why do you keep things from me? Keep things from you? Yes. You say you love me, but you refuse to share your innermost secrets. What secrets? Who is this god who gives you such strength? Why does he allow your people to suffer so? Is he a cruel god, or are you just a foolish people? Delilah. If we have to be together, I should trust you. But how can I trust you when you have lied to me? How have I lied? You deceived me about the fresh rose. I was playing along, remember? Were that secrets with Taryn? Were there to be secrets between us? I'm a Nazarite. What does that mean? Three vows were bestowed upon me. No wine, no touching the dead, no cutting of my hair. I've broken two of them if I were to cut my hair. I fear my strength would leave me. Your hair? Yes. Now, there are no secrets. This is for Samson from the crowd. You seem quiet. What is the matter? Nothing, my love. little brother. I'm gonna let you watch. your God. I am worthy of his power. I will take your place in his favor. Why are you promised? No. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
right in my own eyes. I deserve this. Brother, but you too know. Look at you now. What a waste. Do what you came here for. I'm not here to kill you, Samson. I'm here to free you and your brother. All you must do is tell me how I may receive your power. Stand him up. You had to die! Your secret. Tell me. There is no secret. My power is from God. Then petition your God for me. Tell him that I conquered you, that I am more worthy, that I deserve this strength. Tell him, or I will rend your flesh and feed you to the rest. A just punishment for my sins. Do what you will. Tell me! Tell me! I have to tell you now! Please! I'll tell you. Tell me what I must do. Fear the living God. Humble yourself, or He will humble you. Why? Why have you not brought me his head? Samson is my trophy. You have captured a beloved leader. You must kill him before they come for him. That would be a waste. Waste. Word of Samson's power has spread from Persia to Thebes, and now they will know that we have conquered him. I will use him to show his people and anyone who challenges us that we are greater than their gods. I will be feared everywhere. I fear you. Year, year after year, we will celebrate his humiliation and the triumph. My triumph over his god! Triumph! You imbecile! You've learned nothing. You know nothing. Father, you no longer rule over me. All this kingdom. I may not have your wisdom, your experience, or even your love, but I have your crown! And this is a glory I wish not to share with you. I stand the key. You have a visitor, Hebrews. It is me, my love. I'm here to pay for your release. Paid with the silver that put me here. Rolla misled me. 
I believed I could free you, but I was wrong. I will give back every piece of silver for your release. Show your love for me now. Free Caleb instead of me. I cannot leave you here. Free him. And you can have my forgiveness. I will always love you. Delilah. power God has placed within you. He has not abandoned me, Caleb, because I am in these chains. Even inside these walls, I hear his call. And maybe for the first time, I am hearing his desires and not my own. yours. You have called me from birth, and now I listen. What would you have me do? Huh? subjugated even the strongest man. Are you ready for our special guest? Yeah! Bring the prisoner. Be to Dagon. Praise be to Dagon. Praise be to Dagon.
Lord, give me your strength one last time. Let me die with the Philistines. No. Kill the prisoner! Kill him! Kill him! That day, my brother heard God's call. He fulfilled the promise that was given before his birth. To our people, it was a day for joy, free at last from the Philistine tyrant Rala. But for us and you, Samson, as a brother and as a son, it was a day to mourn the passing of a good man. A man whose heart was as vast as his strength. Brothers! Hebrews! Today we fight! God is with us! God is with us! Many battles were yet to be fought over the Promised Land. The Philistines sent their armies, but the tribes of Israel had awakened. We'd seen miracles done, and we knew then that no force could stand against us. For the strength and the faith of Samson was within us all. God gave us Samson to begin our deliverance. But who would he send to finish it? A generation later, a small shepherd boy named David stepped onto the battlefield and challenged an undefeatable Philistine giant. The time had come. God had at long last chosen a Hebrew king. Left me wanting a whole lot more I keep searching till I find
conscience cold No more searching Finally made it home